Every year, Computer Weekly asks our readers to tell us what their technology priorities are for the forthcoming year. We ask them to tell us what they're going to be spending their budgets on over the coming 12 months and to identify some of the key areas of technology. Now, one of those areas is around storage and in storage in particular the importance of cloud to those budgets as well. In the storage world, it's clear that cloud is really changing things and cloud is uh, accelerating very quickly. Cloud storage is coming out as the number one priority uh, of, over the next 12 months. Um, and a lot of areas associated with that uh, are being shown as being increasingly important as well. Storage virtualization um, is, uh, as has been for a number of years, one of the, the top priorities. Uh, we're seeing backup for server virtualization uh, becoming uh, a very high priority along with disaster recovery which is of course a, a perennial priority in the, in the storage arena. The cloud is uh, having an effect not just on storage but on most areas uh, of investment. Um, in the area of uh, software applications um, the vast majority of uh, new investment that's going into areas like CRM and ERP and, uh, and other business applications is going towards software as a service and, and cloud-based applications. That in itself has knock-on effects of course for, for, for storage um, and storage as well clearly also being affected by uh, this year's deadline for conforming with GDPR, the EU's new general data protection regulation which is driving a lot of investment to make sure people are uh, sure of where their data is and how it's being uh, how it's being handled. Now, one of the interesting measures of just how much confidence there is in cloud now in in the storage world comes from where we asked our readers uh, to give us an estimate of how much of their corporate data they're now putting out into the public cloud. Now, only one in five uh, of those IT managers surveyed said that they have no data in the cloud whatsoever. So 80% of, of organizations are using the cloud for some form of, uh, of, of storage. Um, of, that, uh, of that amount, um, nearly 50% uh, of all the people who responded to the survey said that they're putting at least 10 terabytes of data into, into the cloud. Many of those are, are, are putting petabytes of, of data into the cloud. The degree of confidence that people have now in using the cloud for, for storing data both as, as backup on our, and archive data, as well as live data for applications, um, has increased significantly. Uh, and that, I think, shows a, a, a particularly interesting uh, statistic um, and a way of measuring just how sure people are about using the cloud in the storage arena these days. Now, there's been a lot of talk in the storage world over the last few years of um, fast emerging technologies like object storage, flash, uh, software-defined storage uh, and we've seen in this survey over the years that those are technologies that have been rising up in the priority list. Interestingly though for the 2018 survey all three of those seem to have taken a little bit of a back seat this year. They haven't risen um, quite as much as they have been in, in, in recent years. Uh, now there's a number of reasons that could be the case. Uh, it may be it could just simply be down to, to cost. Things like Flash for example is still uh, premium priced uh, and, it, and many IT managers tell us that they still see Flash as something to be used only for particular types uh, of workloads. There's also uh, an indication that uh, the importance of GDPR compliance is affecting this as well, uh, in that the focus in the storage and data management world is uh, going on making sure that uh, what you have in your existing infrastructure is able to support GDPR compliance before then worrying necessarily about bringing in new technologies. So while there's definitely been a, a slowdown in, in flash object storage and software defined storage, our expectation is probably once GDPR is out of the way, we'll see those coming back strongly in the next few years.